Well, he is just a junior, but Rockbridge point guard Travis Jorgensen is already an intended linchpin of Frank Hayes' future plans for the Missouri Tigers, the first Tiger commit from the class of 2013. Tonight, he would be the toughest head-to-head -to -head test of the season for arguably our area's best point guard, two-time All-Stater Scott Kreger of Ellsbury. How would this shake down? Well, I think it's fair to say that in this game, Mr. Jorgensen has a bit of range. This, my friends, from NBA range and feathery and good, and that is why the kid is a Division I recruit. Later, though, look at Charles Fraction from Ellsbury with great steal and a three-point play that was only his second best play of the night. Ellsbury in attack mode trying to come back in the first half from 12 down. This time it would be Kevin Dotson coming free off the pass from Scott Krager, knocking down the jumper right here. Jorgensen, though, kept answering and kept doing it from deep range. After the scrum, the ball ends up back in the hands of the Rockbridge Bruin point guard, and he's going to fire yet again, and that, my friends, is effortless. Still, Ellsbury down 12, coming back yet again. Matt Losing off the great pass right here from Mr. Krager, a nice little mid-range game, and then Charles Fraction with what turned out to be the play of the night. Look at this, unbelievable take and three-point play for Mr. Fraction. His team was down by as many as 16 points in this game, closed all the way back to within two, but ultimately loses to Jorgensen and Rockbridge tonight, does Ellsbury for their first loss of the season, 64-55. to Meanwhile, at the Monroe City Tournament tonight, good stuff taking place between Marion County and the Louisiana Bulldogs in this one, and we will start you off with Clay Pollard, and he is a good one on the wing. Pretty, pretty left-handed take as he floats one in from the wing right area. This is Dalton Brandstetter going up and under for the easy two. Then it's Logan Rue heating up nicely for the Bulldogs as they would try to take the early lead in this game. Mr. Rue with back-to-back -back buckets, but just too much Reed Plunkett and too much tonight of J.J. Uh, Chatfield as we had way too much Marion County in this game. The Mustangs rally and win, and win going away in this one. Final count is 58-37, to 37, so Marion County is on to the championship game on Saturday night. Mr. Chatfield with 14 points in that ball game. Elsewhere, MMA falls to Marceline in the consolation bracket and the Clopton boys knocked off by Christian 68 to 46. How about those Marion County girls? Number one in the state though, but they had a handful in the first half against Marion County and key at Monday. A bit of a manic Monday to start this game, if you will. Good shot for her, Devin, jo uh, Devin Johnson, I should say, at the other end, getting the job done right here. Miss Devin going up strong. Miss Johnson cleaning up early on. But Monroe City would close the winning minutes of the first half. First, it's Paige O'Brien with a three. Then from the outside, Olivia Krager doing likewise as well, knocking down the three. Monroe was down just three points at the half. Second half, all about Marion County. Look at this, Miss Jessica Red with a big block. At the other end, Kaylin Spratt sprinting away from everybody. Easy land for her. And then it's Miss Spratt from the outside. She's going to knock down the long three here. Marion County with a great, great game tonight. They knock off Monroe City and advance to the championship game as well. 57 to 31 one is your final there. One more for you tonight. Consolation bracket Hannibal knocks off Louisiana 59 to 28. At the Unity Tournament tonight, West Hancock taking on Central Southeastern. Titan freshman Alexis Dooley putting on a show on the glass right here. She's going to come up strong a couple of different times to finally get that ball to roll in. How about some uh, defense right here? Shelby Patterson is going to get swatted. But here's Kaylee Irvin collecting and rolling one home for Central Southeastern in this game. Central Southeastern proves to be too much tonight as the Lady Panthers win yet again. They win tonight in this one by the final count of 47-45 and a comeback thriller tonight against a very good West Hancock squad. Other game of the night, it was Highland and Unity going at it. Nicole Kraft knocking down the jumper right here for Highland. Then more to come from the Lady Cougars. It's Ashton Luttrell doing some work in this one as well. Pretty spin move for her. More Luttrell to come right here. She's going to go coast to coast this time and finish with some aplomb at the other end. Oh, look at the spinorama for Luttrell. That's why she's an all-state caliber player. Unity, though, had answers all the way around. Rachel Rush throwing the dime right here to Jill Donnelly. She's going to knock that home. Up with some Brooklyn Moore action as well. This time playing a sister as she's going to hook up to Rachel Rush. Beautiful stuff right there. Unity ends up getting the victory tonight over Highland. 63-47 to was your final there. Scores to leave you with tonight. Pittsfield felled by Jerseyville in girls action. 43-33 to despite a big night from Shea O'Brien. College docket tonight. Quincy University, as expected, takes care of HLGU winning 86-59. to Also in the docket tonight, Truman State women knocking off Southwest Baptist. Illinois College's women fall to Monmouth. And it was uh, another big night for Hazara Washington and Southeastern Community College, although they lose tonight 72-60. to First loss of the season against Iowa Western. Boys side tonight, Truman State, a winner by one. And uh, Illinois College falls in overtime tonight to Monmouth. 70-68 to was your final there. All right, we'll be right back.